So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be giving you some useful tips and showing you some products that will make your life at theme parks just a little bit easier. So if you do go on to find something useful in this video or you go on to like this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So the first tip that I have for you today is I always print my tickets out in advance. I never use my phone at the ticket booth. Now there's several reasons I do this, uh, mostly because your phone screen um, creates a lot of glare and sometimes this is hard for the ticket machine to read. Also, I'm old school, I like scanning something physical at the turnstiles to allow me into the park, whether that may be my annual pass or a physical and um, printed ticket. Um, again, I only use my phone when I really have to, like at Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, and their new e-ticket system. I never scan my phone at the turnstiles. So the second tip that I have for you today is always travel light. So um, when I go to a theme park, the only things that I really take are my wallet, my keys and my phone. Um, I don't need anything else and I hardly ever take a bag. And if I do, I always use the on-site locker facility um, when I'm not using it. This way I can get on plenty of rides um, throughout the day. And when I do get on a ride, I don't have to faff about putting my bag in a baggage area. I can just get on and off the rides um, without any hassle, basically. The only thing I really do take and I'll show you this actually, um, is this little phone pouch. I mean, you can pretty much put anything um, that um, would be in your pockets in here, to be honest with you. Um, but what's different about this is it has this little carabiner and this little um, string attached to it. So you can attach this to a belt clip on your jeans or on your trousers. So if the worst happens and um, your phone um, or anything in this pouch was to fall out of your pocket um, while you're on a ride, it will attach to your jeans so you can quickly put it back inside or wait till the ride comes to a complete stop um, before you um, get the item. It just gives you that little peace of mind and it stops that little voice in the back of your head nagging um, to check if you've actually got everything secured in your pockets before you um, depart on a ride. I will put a link down in the description of this video to where you can buy this pouch on Amazon. Honestly, it's the best £10 um, I've probably ever spent for um, theme park trips. Um, it really does come in handy and it does relieve um, a lot of that anxiety. Again, um, have you checked whether you've um, secured everything in your pockets? So the third tip that I have for you today is always check before you travel to a theme park if they have an application for your smartphone. Honestly, these applications can be lifesavers. Um, these applications include park maps. Um, you can buy tickets um, to attractions, um, oops, all attractions in the park. Um, and you can also buy fast passes and things like that. And uh, you can also view queue times. And they also have general information about the park itself. I probably have every application available um, for all the parks in the UK just because I like looking at the queue times um, when I'm not at theme parks and when I am at theme parks I can just load the application up and not have to download it. Honestly if you are traveling to a theme park download the application beforehand it honestly is a lifesaver. So the fourth tip that I have for you today is always go to the back of the park when you enter a park never go to the attractions towards the front of the park because they always get the biggest queues. So for instance, if you're at Alton Towers, always travel towards Forbidden Valley um, to go on Air and Galactica before going on Wickerman, for example, it's the same at Thorpe Park. Always go towards Nemesis Inferno and Stealth before traveling um, to a, a roller coaster like the Swarm at the front of the park. Again, the attractions at the front of the park always get the biggest queues first. So beat the queues um, and go to the back of the park first. So my fifth tip for you guys is to always check your ticket and your season pass to make sure that you're not missing out on any benefits throughout your day at a theme park. Um, for instance, my Merlin Pass gets me 20% off for any retail or food outlets. It's the same with my Platinum um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Pass. That gets me 10% off. Um, so if I um, ever eat um, or I get a drink, for instance, or I get any merchandise, 
merchandise, and I always make sure to get my discount and get my money's worth. Also, with my Merlin annual pass, I can park for free at any Merlin attraction, um, and that's really worth its weight in gold. So again, if you've got a season pass um, or just a standard ticket, check what benefits that gives you on the day. So the sixth tip I have for you today is stay hydrated. If you bring a bottle of water into a park, um, it's almost guaranteed that you'll be able to fill that water bottle up at a theme park for free. So at Alton Towers this year, they have the hydration stations. You can fill um, your water bottle up with water at any of those hydration stations for free. Um, it's the same um, if you went to Thorpe Park. If you asked one of the um, catering vendors really nicely, I'm sure they would fill um, your bottle up with tap water. Um, again, on hot days, it's always um, important to stay hydrated at a theme park, particularly if you're walking from place to place to place. Um, so it's really worth bearing in mind um, that you can refill um, your water bottle um, at the hydration stations and at catering vendors for free. So the seventh tip that I have for you today is always take the queue times on apps with a grain of salt. Now, what I mean by this is a uh, park could, for instance, um, add 10 to 30 minutes onto a queue time to sell fast pass. Also, what parks tend to do is they tend to um, put queues on a zero minute or 10 minutes or some low amount um, to flow guests to other areas of the park, especially during COVID. So I've seen this happen at Thorpe Park and Alton Towers quite a bit. So when you're outside a queue line, always take those queue times with a pinch of salt, read the queue for yourself um, and ask yourself, is it really that time being advertised. So the fifth and final tip I have for you today is always wear a hoodie. Unless it's a blistering hot day, you never know when you're going to need one. Temperatures in the UK fluctuate so much. It's better to have one than not have one. If you need to take it off, you can strap it around your waist or put it in ride baggage areas when you go on rides. Um, again, it's better to have it than not have it. Believe me, I've been to plenty of parks and again, got caught out by this before for always take a hoodie. So guys, that's been my video on useful tips and products that you can use at theme parks just to make your life a little bit easier. If you have liked this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. So I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.